Good morning, everyone. So this is Rahul Kumar Dixit. What I forget to say in the last lectures, please like, subscribe, and share my videos to the needy one. So that the ये जो मेहनत है सबके पास पहुंच सके. I'm very much sure those who are going through my these all lectures, they are very much उनके लिए जावा सीखना बहुत आसान. उनको प्रोग्रामिंग से बिल्कुल डरने की जरूरत नहीं है इसीलिए मैंने वीडियोस को ऑनलाइन करने की कोशिश की तो लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने सीखा वी लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेशन प्रोग्राम थोरेटिकली सो हियर इस लेक्चर में हम फिर से आगे बढ़ते हुए करते हैं व्हाट इज जावा लैंग्वेज एंड इट्स फीचर्स हाउ द जावा इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सी प्लस प्लस and the java data type variable constant operator control statement ye sab kya hai hum inke bare mein aaj discuss karne ja rahe hain so first of all why java what is the feature what is the advantage of java so we are going through these topics for the first so what is java java is guaranteed to be right once run anyway once you can write the code of java and once it is compiled not write once you can say compile once and run anyway compile once run anyway so this is the whole phenomena so how it is possible to compile one send run anyway because of the white code because of the white code so what is byte code actually so this is the diagram which is representing how the byte code is there And how it is done so one thing is there in java there is two things one is jdk and another one is jrp jdk stands for java development kit you can say that this is nothing but our compiler that's Whatever the code you are writing, that is checked once. Everything is fine. If everything is fine, the compiler is going to generate the bytecode. And once the bytecode is generated, then the JRE comes into the picture. JRE is used to execute that code, that bytecode. If your system is not consisting JRE, then that code is not able to execute it by that particular system this jdk and jre is platform dependent in nature you have to download jdk for the specific platform whether it is a windows whether it is the linux whether it is a any other operating system you have to download this jdk according to your system specification is it a 64 bit system or 32 bit system and the jre as well but if the system is pauses jdk your system is able to compile the java code whatever you are writing in the text format and when the code is successfully written everything is well the byte code is generated and the responsibility the responsibility of jre is to execute that particular byte code and that is also a platform specific jre java runtime environment so jre stands for java runtime environment so byte code is something here jdk generates it and jre executes whatever the output of the compiler is the input of the jre 
So, if your system is consisting JRE, your code executed. So, that is why we can say that write compile once, not write once, compile once and run anywhere. So, byte code is a whole, a whole beauty of the Java. Byte code is the whole beauty of the Java. If the byte code is there, whether your system is Windows, whether your system is having a Linux, if your system is consisting JRE, it is platform independent. Because the responsibility to execute that particular byte code is JRE. Let's suppose this system is of 64 bit and this system is of 32 bit, this system is of P4 system is there. Architecture of all these things are different. But it's still, this byte code is still executed because you are having a JRE with respect to them. In this system, you are downloaded the JRE of uh, for 64 bit. In this system, you are downloaded the JRE of 32 bit. So, this byte code is not about if your system is consisting a JRE, it is executed. So, we can say that uh, my, uh, because of the byte code, the Java is platform independent. As well as architecture neutral, whatever the architecture is over there, it is not bothering about. Or is SCA, when we are learning an interface, then we can go further in that also. This may more be about to seek them. So, we are not discussing the features of Java. Everybody is saying that Java is a uh, simple language. From where I am put, uh, taking these all notes, from the Java complete reference book. You need not to bother about the notes. You can go through with that book. Java complete reference. So, Java is simple. Why simple? We are discussing the feature of the Java. Too simple? Eh? Because Java follows concept of C++, because C++ is an object oriented language and syntax of C. So, Java inherits the C and C++ syntax and many of the object oriented features of C++. So, for C++ programmer moving to the Java require very little efforts. Why Java is simple or Java does not follow pointers. Java does not support pointers. Java does not support multiple inheritance. We are discussing it while going through the inheritance topic. Why it is not following the Java multiple inheritance? If C++ is like this, now moving ahead, Java program is confined to Java execution environment and not allowed to access the other part of the computer. It, it is secure, but what, what, what this line is saying, your byte code is only executed when the JRE is presented. We discussed earlier, just byte code, JRE hoga aapke system to tabhi execute kare. And that is a controlled environment. Byte code is executed in the control environment and not harm your system. That is why we can say that Java is secure in nature. 
जावा इज पोर्टेबल अभी अभी हमने डिस्कस किया जावा इज पोर्टेबल वाई पोर्टेबल बिकॉज कंपाइल वंस रन एनी वेयर इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम इज हैविंग जे आर ई दैट बाइट कोड इज एग्जीक्यूटेड जब फॉलो ऑब्जेक्ट ओरियंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एज वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट लेक्चर जब फॉलो द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरियंटेशन वॉट इज दैट इन कैप्सुलेशन पॉलीमॉर्फिजम abstraction everything should be in the form of classes and objects oh one thing is i left out that is the inherent so we can say that java is object oriented language now java is a robust language java is a robust language so why java is robust language this is asked many of the interviews why java is robust we can why would you, we can say that java is a robust language because it has a rich feature what is that it checks error at compile time it has a rich library for most of the possibilities for what exception handling it checks error at compile time as well as is handle the exception at run time as well as it handle the exception at run time so java is a strict type language first of all what is that is strict type before using any variable we can discuss in, in the variable topic but i am letting you know you can declare the type like this int x in java java is a strict type language you can define a type before using that particular variable what where what that variable is going to be hold so it checks the code at compile time that is the, that is the line java also code at also checks the code at run time as well that is nothing but a exception handling that's why we can say that java is robust in that and also one thing is there that is java manages memory allocation and deallocation by using auto garbage collector what is that garbage collector we can discuss you can just imagine about garbage collector that there is a guy which is come daily to your house wo aapke ghar daily aata hai aur aapki garbage ko lekar jata hai aur aapko bar bar use bulana nahi padta wo apne aap aata hai aur apne aap he is cleaning your house so that type of concept is there so that you can say that java is robust in the main line is there for the robustness it checks at checks error at compile time as well as is handle the exception at run time to implement now the next is multi threading to implement a threading concept in java is very much easy we can n number of threads easily in java and nowadays we can having a lambda as well by using lambda we can easily create a thread less number of lines up you can just write the code whatever your thread want to do it is created you can discuss this multi threaded topic in the threading concept 
तो जावा प्लस थ्रेड्स यू कैन से दैट मल्टी थ्रेडिंग तो जावा इज अ मल्टी थ्रेडेड लैंग्वेज so that is the nothing but a features of uh, java in the next lecture we are going to discuss about uh, difference between java and c c please hold it down i can upload it asap thank you thanks a lot